Joshua and I started radio broadcasting at the age of 13. I didn't know anything about music. I, I doubt many 13-year-olds do. KHS, the public radio station, is the only station in town, had all phonograph records then. And they were on a shelf. And so I just walk up and down and see names that I'd heard but didn't know that they were bands, per se. Pull them and listen to them. And we had two turntables in the control room. The control board was these huge dials that we called pots. They were about the size of... Uh, our hands <laughs> and it switches above them for whatever that that item was controlling whether it be microphone or uh, phonograph level or, or any volume that the hand that it handled the production room was a duplicate studio of men used for listening and practicing it could also be switched over as an on-air studio. Uh, we produced comedy gigs with um, Dr. Crazy and Bad Burns and Horrible Horton and I don't know, a whole bunch of other odds and ends. But, um, yeah, we had a, a real to real machine that was 8-track and would uh, record, uh, you know, our, uh, we'd write and produce and, and then use a razor blade to slice out the spaces and splice in. Oh, I don't know if we spliced in anything or not. But at least cut out the gaps and whatnot. You know, it was about an hour of production time for every minute of, of, of material. And uh, that was a blast doing that kind of stuff. We had rockets on our records and World War Two, and uh, there's a DJ chair that blasted off into the air and then, you know, uh, cage and all kinds of stuff. 